This is Pioneer's SDA BS1. The SDA BS1 is a license plate bar type, add on, blind spot, and cross traffic detection system. The system utilizes digital microwave radar technology to accurately measure the distance and relative speed to other vehicles in your vehicle's blind spot zones. LED indicators are included to help make the driver aware of vehicles entering the left or right blind spots from behind. A speaker is also included for audible alerts for traffic in the blind spot zones. When in reverse and backing out of a driveway or parking spot, the SDA BS1 will alert the driver to vehicles crossing the blind spot zones with both LED indicators and audible alerts. The license plate bar is designed to be mounted on the top or on the bottom of the vehicle license plate and is rated IPX6 and IPX7 for water resistance. The Pioneer SDA BS1 can be installed in nearly any vehicle with a center mounted license plate. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right, let's pop this thing open. There we go, we're gonna lay it down that way and open her up. All right, the first thing we see here is the owner's manual and installation manual. And we have a booklet here. Uh, let's see, the next thing we'll do is we'll lift out this tray. And this has a number of the parts to the system and there's more here in the box. We'll get to that in just a moment. First thing we see here is the LED uh, indicators that go inside your vehicle on the pillars near the windshield. And you can see they have a black cover on them right there, a black cover. That's the LED indicators. Here is the speaker. There we go, there's the speaker, and it connects into the uh, main control unit. You can see it's an adhesive patch on the back of it there with a couple of different uh, settings on the side here. And next up is the GPS antenna. Here's the GPS antenna system. It's very important to have the GPS antenna because this system relies on the motion of your vehicle as compared to other vehicles or the relative speed of other vehicles for that uh, blind spot detection information. So the GPS information is very important there. And here we have the main control brain. There we go. This is the main control unit and all of the wiring plugs in right here through one wire harness. We'll give you a look at that wiring in just a moment. And you'll notice a uh, switch on the side here with one, two, three, four. This is about the speed that the uh, blind spot detection system actually starts to operate in your vehicle. And you can choose the speed with this switch on the side here. And finally, let's get the license plate bar up out of here. There we go. Now, when you feel this, you'll notice that it's quite weighty. Uh, it is built to be outdoors, outside the vehicle, uh, IPX6, IPX7 weather resistant. It can be mounted this way on the top of a license plate or this way on the bottom of a license plate. You can see that there are slots here to give you room uh, to move this up and down as compared to the license plate. It's a very weighty piece, built to be outdoors and on the license plate of your vehicle. This is the transmitter and receiver of the radar information that the blind spot system is based upon. All right, let's uh, lift this up out of the box here. It's just a piece of cardboard. First up, we have the LED connections. These are the wires that will lead up to the LEDs that will be up in the passenger compartment near the windshield on the uh, pillars on the side of the vehicle, uh, near the mirrors. Now this is the plug that plugs into the license plate uh, bar, and this also plugs into the main control unit here with the right and left sides. Here we have the, um, the wire harness for the main control, and we'll give you a careful look at this so you can see the different connections that are available a little bit later in the video there. Then we have a number of different uh, mounting screws and mounting hardware included, and we have some wire ties included there to tidy things up and hold the wires in place. Here are some adhesive pads for your installation. And finally, we have uh, some mounting wedges. So here are some shims or mounting wedges that you can use in 5, 10, and 15 degrees so that when you mount the license plate bar, you can get it parallel with the road surface because that is very important for the installation. You don't want it to be pointing up or pointing down. You want it to be quite parallel with the road surface behind the vehicle. Installation of the Pioneer SDA BS1 requires five wire connections. 
Red is accessory. And black is ground. Green is for the reverse gear. Pink is for the left turn signal. And orange is for the right turn signal. And that is Pioneer's SDA BS1, license plate bar type, add-on, cross-traffic detection system, and blind spot detection system. And what's in the box?